The Pokemon Company International was kind enough to send me this free ETB of Temporal Forces, and today, we're opening it. Temporal Forces is the next set coming out in the Pokemon Trading Card Game, and I gotta say and be 100% honest with you guys, I'm excited for this set. This set is going to define the meta this point forward. It is so good. We've seen the influences in Japan. We know this is going to impact the standard format. However, before we can open this box, I got to say a big thank you to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this box. We also have a booster box that we're going to open up on the channel. And if you haven't seen the video, I will link it in the description below. So thank you guys for sending me this box. It does mean the world to me. So what do you get in a Elite Trainer Box. So, Elite Trainer Boxes now come with a full art promo. It looks like we get Fluttermane in this one, which is actually pretty sick. Fluttermane is going to be really good. Uh, we get a whole bunch of packs, nine packs, a energy brick and all that. But instead of just talking about it, let's open it up and show you guys. I am very, very, very... I, I don't know if I have the words to explain how excited I am for this set to hit the standard format because it's going to change everything. Ace spec cards are back. Do you guys remember Ace spec? Maybe some of you guys didn't play back when Ace specs were a thing, but uh, Ace spec cards are here again, and I'm very excited for that. I wonder if we have a poster in here. Do we have? We do have a poster in here. Let me see if we can get this thing open. There we go. We didn't butcher it. Just the the glue that seals it all together. But you do get this cool poster inside. It has all the amazing Pokemon in there. Uh, let me see if I can remember the names. Walking Quake, I believe. That's Iron Leaves. That is Raging Bolt, if I'm not wrong. And Iron Crown? I didn't play the DLCs yet, so excuse me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this set. It, it, the poster looks cool. We are going to probably hang that up. And we do have ourselves a booklet. Inside the booklet has every card in the set. I don't want to spoil it for those that do want to actually open the set up and be surprised. Because this is an early opening. The set doesn't come out until the 22nd, I believe. So I don't want to spoil everything for you guys. But uh, what you'll see in the video is the spoiler is enough, right? So let's go ahead and open up the box. These... That looks cool. So this is just a little cardboard piece holder that keeps the box up. But they always design it really nicely. It looks sick. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs of temporal forces. Oh my goodness. We also get these awesome dividers in here with Walking Quake, I believe. Uh, so that's cool. I use these a lot when I'm organizing uh, because I do have a big bin that I organize all my cards into for playables and non playables. Uh, let's see here. Our dice look absolutely amazing. Wow, look at that die. That looks so good. That looks so good. I, I'm probably this is probably gonna be my main roll die from now on. <laughs> and the uh, damage die are a nice tealish color. We have the sleeves. The sleeves look really cool. Nice. Oh, it's got gold on the back too. So seems like uh, the little homie here is definitely the mascot for the ETB. So that is really cool. Got ourselves a code card that gives you the. Uh, I think it gives you the sleeves and maybe a deck box on PTCGL. I don't know if that's active yet or not. We also have our Fluttermane. Let's go ahead and open this thing up because I'm telling you guys, Fluttermane is going to see play. And because it's going to see play, the full arts are definitely going to be a in-demand type of card. Wow, that looks good. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. I need to get a sleeve for this thing. I need to get a sleeve for this thing. Sleeved up. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, we are excited. We are excited. Uh, next up, Energy Brick. If you're just getting into the game, you're going to want Energy, so Energy is good. And we have ourselves the Burn and Poison counters in here. So that is all the contents of the box minus the packs because we haven't opened those up yet. So why don't we get to opening the booster packs? Nine packs here. I'm really hoping to hit uh, quite a few cards. I want to play like Lugia, so I'm kind of hoping that we hit uh, Mincino's. Or not Mincino, we want Sincino. Sincino is going to be really good. But all the cards are going to be absolutely amazing in this set. I'm just super excited. Let's see here. We got ourselves Totodile. Totodile is back and swinging. Deerling. Pidove with Emergency Evolution. Pinaco. Rabska. We got ourselves a Fortress. Full Metal Lab. If you guys... If you guys want to play Dialga, you're going to want to pick up a Full Metal Lab. It's actually kind of good. 
We got a Raichu in reverse, a Bahiam, and a Fluttermane. Okay, you know what? We're picking up all the Fluttermanes right off the bat. We will take that. We want all the Fluttermanes we can get our hands on for sure. All right, next pack, guys. Here we go. Let's see what we can hit. Very happy with the Fluttermane already. The Fluttermanes are absolutely awesome. All right, so we got ourselves a Frostmoth here. Noctowl. Croconaw. Licky Licky. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. I did not know this was actually going to be in the set. So, reprint of this from Paradox Rift is actually really nice. Rapid Ash. Bolton. Tortinator Reverse. Oh! We got the Gold Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire is absolutely insane. It has an amazing attack with uh, the Blaze Blitz, where it does 260 damage, and then it can't do Blaze Blitz again until it leaves the active spot. But that's not really a big deal if you're playing a lot of switches. But awesome, awesome card. You can play this in Lugia. It's a really good basic Pokemon. And we got ourselves an Iron Valiant. Wow, uh, very good hit right off the rip there. Let's go ahead and sleeve up that homie. I was not expecting to hit gold right like second pack in we got gold gouging fire i hear it's actually not bad in charizard since you can accelerate all the energies to it so pretty good card all right we got ourselves a carvana here in the front uh there's no pack chart what am i doing all right carvana ekans turtwig i definitely want to play uh <laughs> i definitely want to play the big big turtle so picking up some Turtwigs is going to be good. Future Booster Energy Capsule. Iron Hands. Nuzleaf Reverse. Bahiam Reverse. And a Maridon. So this card is actually going to be seeing a lot of play if you actually plan on playing around with the Future Box deck that is definitely seeing a lot of play in Japan. Future Box is a really new archetype that's pretty much supported because of this set. And this Maridon is one of the best facilitators of that archetype. So you definitely want to play... Four of these Maridon or two of these Maridon, depending on how you want to build it. But Maridon, really good card to pick up. Man, this uh, this box has been absolutely busted so far. <laughs> I got, even the rares are super good. Like, no complaints at all. All right, here is our next pack. We're going to hit anything. Metang! Metang is one of the new cards that everybody is talking about. So, Metang has an ability called Metal Maker, where once during your turn, you can look at the top four cards of your deck and attach any number of basic metal energy cards that you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like, and then you shuffle the other cards at the bottom of your deck, which means if you have a bunch of Metangs, you're not shuffling the deck, you're putting it at the bottom, giving you more chances to find metal energy. Really good card, definitely, I think, in a C play. I'm going to put that over there in the hints, because uh, we definitely want to play Dialga in the future. We got ourselves a Karkul. Grottle, Fenizen, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance. This is the newest ancient supporter card in this set. Really good card. Look at the top six of your deck and put two of them in your hand. Discard the others. This card's really good with uh, cards like Dawnfan, or not Dawnfan. What is the ancient one called again? I can't remember now, but hey, this Explorer's Guidance is actually really good. And it's going to be seeing a lot of play in ancient box decks. I'm going to put that over there. Colossal. Giraffe Rig, a Metacham, and a Macargo with Lava Zone. Its name is Great Tusk. I just remembered it's Great Tusk. But hey, off to our next pack here. We have four packs remaining after this. Woo! These fly by, but they're so much fun. All right, we got ourselves a Wiglet. Good old Wiglet, our buddy, our friend. We got a Meltan, a Sea Dot, Totodile. Rescue Boar, this card is amazing! If you plan on playing LZB in the future, you're going to want to pick up Rescue Boards because it gives your Pokemon that have one retreat, practically no retreat. And any Pokemon that has 30 HP or less, yeah, they'll have no retreat as well. So really good card. Basically, it's just a minus one in retreat cost, but can give Pokemon free retreat if they have 30 or less HP. Sandy Shocks, Hand Trimmer. Now this card... This card's insane. <laughs> Each player will discard cards from their hand until they have five cards in their hand. Your opponent discards first. So if your opponent has a huge hand, you can play down the hand trimmer. And before you know it, they've got no hand. Pineco, Skitty Reverse. And an Incineroar EX. So this is why I didn't want to look through the booklet. I didn't know this was going to be in the set. I had no clue about this. 
All right, Hustle Play. Attack used by this Pokemon costs one energy less for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And you have Blaze Blast that does 240. Okay, so if your opponent has four Pokemon in play, you can actually use Blaze Blast for one energy doing 240 damage. It's not bad. We might have to build a deck around this in the future on the channel because this is actually, this is actually kind of sick card. Oh, okay. I really want to play that now. And with Path of the Peak rotating come the, uh, come the rotation, you don't have to worry about Hustle Play not working, which is really sick. All right, uh, we haven't booped the snoot once, so thank you, LeChonk. We'll boot the snoot, and maybe we'll get some absolute fire out of here. All right, code over there. Flip it over. We got ourselves a skitty. I definitely think I want to hit one more Matang. Electabuzz, Bramblin, Giraffe Rig, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Dreads. This card's seeing play in Future Box uh, simply because of its dual core ability. Now, it's a fighting type and it is a metal type. And because you are a future Pokemon, you can get boosted by the Iron Crown. And it gives your matchup into Arceus and Maridon if you see Maridon. But it also gives your matchup into Chem Pow, uh a much easier routing to actually win because you're both a fighting and a metal type you're covering your weaknesses which is really cool buddy buddy poffin this is our first one pulled buddy buddy poffin is basically your vip pass reprint vip pass is out of here and being replaced with buddy buddy poffin you can search your deck for up to two basic pokemon with 70 hp or less and put them onto your bench then shuffle your deck it can be used at any time in the game the downside is it has to be pokemon with 70 hp or less you're not getting things like cramorant or anything else like that but this card is really good for building up your board state and in the late game putting pokemon on bench in order to make sure that you can build into bigger pokemon the next turn that is a hit in my opinion we got ourselves a slugma a dunsparce and a drampa oh that art is actually kind of sick it's giving me like never-ending story vibes i really like the artwork of that drampa that's actually kind of sick i like that a lot i'm gonna put the iron trends over here for my future box deck for sure all right three Packs remaining. We're going to boop the snoot because the last time we did it, we got ourselves a buddy buddy poppin. Lechonk coming in clutch here, giving us some of the most important cards that we could ask for. We got ourselves a Metatite. Tortinator. Hoot Hoot. Beldum, perfect for our Metangs. Electivire. Sincino. There we go. That's our first Sincino. So this card is uh, pretty much the card that makes Lugia good again. So definitely really want that. Sableye. A Shaman, a Mudsdale, oh boy, okay, so this is a special art, I can never remember the, <laughs> what are these called? We got a special art Mudsdale, <laughs> so I really like the uh, arts like this, and another Maridon, oh my goodness, two Maridon in this ETB is actually really nice, because uh, we can actually build the future box deck but this Mudsdale looks amazing the art ever since they started doing this like more often like every set from like scarlet and violet forward having these absolutely love the idea the cards just look amazing and when they're playable it gives players the incentive to try to go as max rarity as they can all right so our last two packs here and so far this etb has been busted absolutely in love with it let's see if we can hit another buddy buddy pop in or another um Another Matang, maybe another Maridon. Another hit would be cool. Let's see here. Rosalia. Cutie Fly. Drill Bird with Dig Dig Dig. Relor. Lycanroc. Delcaddy. Future Booster Energy Capsule. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. Okay, now that's the... And a Great Tusk. And a Relicant! Okay, these are all three great cards that I actually want to talk about. So, Cypher Maniac's uh, Code Breaking allows you to search your deck for two cards and shuffle your deck, then put the two cards on top of your deck in any order. If you play this with something like Bidoof or, or Bibarel, you can draw into these cards rather easily. And usually you're going to take cards that are going to win you the game or set up your deck very nicely. Great Tusk, I actually already made a video on, so if you want to see that, link will be in the description. And a Relicanth with Memory Dive. Each of your evolved Pokemon that can use attack... Sorry. And Relicanth. So Relicanth here has the ability called Memory Dive, where each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack, any attacks from its previous evolutions. So you can build up some Pokemon and use some of its previous evolutions. I, one of the big ones that I can think of is if you're Giratina V-Star and you still need to use Shred, you can do that with Relicanth in your deck, which is super, super cool. 
All right, our last pack to open here. Let's go ahead and crack it open. And while we're doing that, just one last huge thank you to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this early box. It is absolutely amazing. Your gifts help this channel grow and it builds the community because we all want to see these amazing new cards together. So here we go. Heat more. Roly Coley, Azumarill, Yamper, another great tusk. We're gonna be building that for sure. Morty's Conviction, Shift Tree, Electivire Reverse, Lickitung, and a Coridon to finish it off. So this is actually a really good card for the Ancient Box deck, thanks to its Primordial Beatdown. It does have a Shred Effect, but I don't think that's really relevant in this future uh, format at all. But hey, the Shred is actually 130, not bad, but that Primordial Beating, really good card. All right, guys, time for a review. So we pulled a lot of amazing cards out of just one ETB, one ETB. So if you're excited to see what we can get out of an actual booster box, make sure you check out the description. But we got a lot of cards here that facilitate building a lot of amazing decks that are coming out in the future, like Iron Treads. We also got some amazing staples like Buddy Buddy Poffin, Explorer's Guidance, Rescue Board. And here we have a Cincino, a Metang, a Relicanth, Coridon for that ancient box. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking is an amazing staple in the future. Two Maridon, so we can actually build future boxes with just these two, but a lot of them do play three to four, but two is perfect. We do have two Fluttermane, which is pretty much all you need, and one is guaranteed from the actual ETB as a full art, which is super cool. We got ourselves an Incineroar EX, who I forgot to sleeve. I must be out of my mind. What is wrong with you, Vulcan Turtle? You gotta, you gotta sleeve that cat up, bro. So we got ourselves an Incineroar EX, a Muds Dale, a Gouging Fire Gold, and a Great Tusk Reverse. So a lot of amazing one-off hit cards here that you could put this like in Charizard, or you could build a whole deck around Incineroar. However, a lot of the cards that we hit are amazing core pieces to new decks, but also amazing staples for old decks. So out of one ETB, this is actually insane. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to start building some stuff. But thank you guys for watching. And again, thank you to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this amazing ETB and the booster box, which will be in the next video. So thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe and be kind. Boop!